Hey, Jack. Welcome back. <laughs> Long time no see. How have you been? Thank you so much, Andre. I'm doing great. How are you? Yeah, oh, it's good. Uh, it's been, uh, I think, uh, two months is, uh, since you've started at RB. How is it going? That is correct. Uh, I joined RB October of this year, so almost two months ago. And honestly, it's been very great so far. Um, I'm meeting very uh, uh, smart people, very interesting people, people that are ambitious as I am, I'm, I'm going to say. So, so far, I'm, uh, it's going great. And I hope it, uh, it stays like that. Very cool. Can you maybe tell to everyone who's going to be watching this video a little bit more about yourself, your background? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so my name is Jad, and I'm a recent graduate from HEC Paris. I actually graduated June of this year, June 2022. And I joined the uh, consulting master's program, I think, a year ago. So November or December uh, 2021. And um, I worked really hard to get a consulting offer. And uh, today, uh, I can say that I finally made it. I'm a current business analyst at Rollenberger in the Dubai office. And uh, okay. that's that's who I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how is it going? I mean, how do you feel? Does it uh, is the reality uh, looks like what you've expect before? Yes. Yeah, so I know um, before joining the consulting industry, um, all my friends that either had worked in the consulting industry or do work in it had told me that it's very um, there's a lot of pressure, that it's very intense, uh, that the hours are not the best, and so the fact that they they kept on telling me this for so long. It's kind of, uh, uh, it got permanent in my mind. So it, for me, it's normal. Like uh, working until midnight or 1 a.m. is is not that bad. I mean, it, it's, uh, sometimes it's cool because when you're working on a cool project or on a cool proposal, even with cool people, uh, you don't feel the time pass. You, you definitely enjoy it. Of course, sometimes it's not always like that, but uh, you just have to enjoy uh, mm. the time while it is. <laughs> Perfect. I'm I'm glad to see that you are happy actually at where you are. Uh, I'm also deeply satisfied with our collaboration. Uh, by the way, uh, like a year ago, we started working together. How did you find us? Yeah, so that's a good question. I actually first time I came across Consulting Masters was on LinkedIn. Uh, I was uh, I'm a, I'm a quite an uh, I'm an active LinkedIn user. And I was seeing consulting masters every day. I would go on LinkedIn. So I'm like, um, this uh, this is definitely something that might come of interest because I was interested in, in joining the consulting industry. So that's when I decided to reach out to you. And I remember you organized a call with one of uh, the people that works for the program uh, to understand what the program consists of exactly. And after that, we had finalized everything and, and I had signed the contract and, and joined consulting masters. Okay, why why did you decide to um, get together to start working together with us? Uh, and why did you choose this program? Yeah, definitely. So I'd say there are two main reasons why I joined uh, the Consulting Masters program. Uh, first of all, I was very keen and motivated on joining a top five consultancy, and I was quite far behind my classmates that were with me at HEC, who already had uh, consulting exposure either because they had done consulting uh, internships or already had started the consulting interview process a while back before than I did, right? So for me, consulting masters was uh, the perfect gateway to master my case prep skills and hopefully get an offer. So I'd say that's the first reason. Uh, the second reason is um, all the people that I had reached out to that completed the consulting masters program were very satisfied and only gave positive feedback. So for me, the, it only meant one thing, that I had to join the program, which is what I did. Sounds very great. Uh, by the way, just uh, this week, uh, one of our uh, mentees, uh, I think it's 595, uh, who uh, rejected one offer and accepted another one. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> he, he rejected uh, Deloitte and is going to uh, start working with BCG uh, next year. <laughs> nice. And which office? Uh, in Munich office, uh, but it's still not official. <laughs> so I I can disclose some details in private. Uh, not of course. So to say. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Cool. And by the way, guys, if you have any questions to Jad, feel free to uh, share your comments um, or post this video in your network. And uh, we also will be happy to get back to you. Uh, feel free to put a like or share this video with uh, your friends as well. Okay, let's move on. And um, 
can you maybe also tell everyone what specifically have we done together? How was the program built? How was your experience? How did you? Yeah, run? definitely. I'd say that's an important question. Definitely that I actually wanted to talk about. Uh, so I'd say uh, the program consists of two important elements. Uh, the first one I'd say is the training with the coaches. And the second important element is the training with the other mentees. So I'm going to start with the first um, the first element, which is the training with the coaches. Here, I'd say there are two types. There was the individual one-on-one -on -one uh, coaching and then the group uh, coaching. So the individual one, um, I remember first we started working on um, networking skills for the first two to three weeks, basically developing networking skills and growing the basically my own network uh, network. Uh, to reach out to people and hopefully get referrals, which is exactly what happened. And um, I remember we also worked on uh, my CV. We worked on polishing my CV uh, and also the cover letter, which were two crucial things. And a fun fact, uh, actually, that I wa also wanted to mention is that uh, I'd say around 60% of the first round interviews I got were thanks to referrals. Uh, I mean, regardless of the school I went to, uh, I just want to highlight the importance of learning how to network with people and hopefully get them to refer you, which is something that I had trouble with because I'm not the typical person that would want to reach out to someone that I don't know to, but I had to, and it worked out uh, very well. So I'm I'm thankful for that. And I'd say after these three core things, which is basically the networking skills, the CV and the cover letter, uh, I remember we developed a tailored plan based on my strengths and weaknesses uh, to improve my case cracking skills. Uh, here, basically, I was doing one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching sessions where we would do cases and get very good feedback uh, that I would apply to the next case and so on and so forth. And then the second type of training was the group training, which was mainly focused on fit, if I remember well. Uh, here, I learned all the different types of uh, fit questions that you can get asked in a consulting interview and, of course, learn how to answer them in a, in a very structured way. So I'd say, in a nutshell... Um, what we've done together is uh, we've mastered all the steps. And when I say all, I really mean all the steps of getting a consulting offer. So basically from networking to polishing your CV to your cover letter to case cracking and to mastering the uh, the fit questions. Um, something also that I want to highlight is that the uh, the program does take into account the importance of each step. Otherwise, it would make sense to be really, really good at casing, for example, but not being able to land the first round interview, right? So the program does that does take that into account, and um, and I'm very thankful for that as well, of course. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, let's maybe get a little bit deeper into each one of the important aspects. Uh, so, can you maybe tell everyone how how we were able uh, to help you to to land your interviews? You've been talking about networking quite a lot. You've been talking about yes. uh, application documents. Can you just uh, give a little bit more meat on the bones? Absolutely. Uh, so I remember one of our first calls, we basically um, created an Excel file where we basically wrote down all the uh, consulting firms that, uh, I mean, that, that someone aims for, right? And I remember we had went through each one individually and see whether I know anyone in this company. And in my case, I didn't know uh, around 90% of the people that worked in these companies or something like, like that, right? So what we had done was created a plan to reach out to the alumni from HEC, which is the school that I graduated from, and basically get to speak to these people, network with them, and hopefully get them to refer me. And that's exactly what happened. I remember scheduling around three to four calls per company. So if I name one company, for example, BCG, I had spoken to four different people from BCG and it was only the fourth person that I had reached out to that decided to refer me. Uh, so that's just to give you an idea of, you know, you know it's never the, with the first person. It always doesn't work out immediately as you wish. So that's basically Don't what happened. Never give with... up in networking, guys. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, so that's basically what happened for most of the companies. I was reaching out not only to one individual, but plenty of individuals. It's something that does take a lot of time, but it's something that is extremely rewarding. So that's, I'd say, the networking part. And then if you if you want me to move to the CV, um, I'd say I had a good CV, but it was not good enough. And that's uh, the, the important part here is that, of course, uh, you can apply with your good CV, but I don't think it would take you anywhere. Um, so I remember we worked on our CV on my CV, I'm sorry, and we worked on changing basically the bullet points and make them uh, result-oriented. 
<clears throat> that's something that was not easy. That's something that you taught me and we worked on a lot of time. And uh, and I can definitely say that it uh, that it was um, it was worth it because when I was getting uh, when I was basically sending my CV to the people that was gonna, that were going to refer me or either to directly to HR, most of the time I would hear from them this is a very solid CV. So I knew that there was hard work done behind that was worth it. Uh, same for the cover letter. I actually wasn't um, familiar with writing cover letters before. I mean, maybe cover letters, yes, but not consulting cover letters. So that was kind of new to me. And um, and then for the coaching part, uh, here I'm going to focus mainly on the one-on-one -on -one sessions. So, of yeah, course... Before, uh, before we move on to the coaching part, I just want to also explicitly uh, tell everyone... Uh, that guys actually 90% of the applicants fail at the CV stage. They don't even lend an opportunity for an interview. So if you apply for the first time for McKinsey, BCG, Bain, or RB, whatsoever the company, uh, the chances are <laughs> higher than the average that you get rejected. If your CV is not polished, if you are not using uh, referrals and networking, and that's exactly uh, where we were able to help Jad a lot. So that's why he got uh, the invites with all major uh, or with almost all major consulting companies that he was uh, aiming for. So yeah, now let's uh, basically move on uh, with the coaching. So one uh, one thing is to secure your interview invites, which is already half of the success, I would say. But uh, yeah, out of ten. Invitees, uh, 10 candidates uh, that we used to interview when I was interviewing myself, we only chose one or maximum two if they were good. Um, so, yeah, how how did we help you to make it to the bar to become that top 1% who actually landed an offer? Um, <clears throat> honestly, I'd say w one thing. One thing that uh, the changes and that makes consulting masters what it is today, but it's basically the feedback that you get after you do the one-on-one -on -one sessions with the coaches. So I was mainly working with you and uh, Gaurav, and I know that both of you guys have uh, combined 12 years of experience in consulting, and both of you guys were interviewers, if I'm not mistaken. So the feedback I was getting after every case, and especially after every case I failed, I failed many cases, of course. Uh, the feedback that I got was extremely important feedback that I took into consideration and that I turned into actionable feedback, right? And apply it for my next case. And then the same thing was, was happening for the, the case after and then the case after. So I'd say this feedback that I received and, of course, that I put into work was basically what allowed me to become very good at um, at case cracking, so to say. Um, and, you know, you can do as many cases as you want with peers from school or or friends. Um, and I think it's not about the quantity, but it's more about the quality of the way you approach casing. And this is sure. why con consulting masters was really good is because uh, um, I was getting extremely good feedback. Yeah, thanks. Well, appreciate it. And uh, let's also be honest with the audience. I mean, you faced several rejections in your way, like uh, several obstacles were there. Uh, but can you maybe also highlight some of them? And uh, can you tell uh, can you tell your personal stories? How did you uh, come over through those obstacles, and what actually helped you? Maybe the community, maybe uh, our mentorship to overcome those obstacles. Uh, this mental support uh, also for you uh, that you didn't lost your uh, track and finally ended up uh, with an offer. Yeah, absolutely. So for my own personal story, um, I have to say that uh, I was quite motivated to to land a consulting job offer, and uh, <laughs> and this mindset was sometimes beneficial for me, and uh, the reality was that sometimes it was not, um, and I'd say my situation was also different compared to uh, compared to the to the people that were in consulting masters. Uh, I had to manage schoolwork. I was doing my master's degree. Uh, I had exams. I had projects. I had a thesis, and I always had to keep time. Uh, for improving my, my case cracking skills and managing interviews, right? So clearly, um, I encountered plenty of obstacles, uh, to name a few, uh, confidence, uh, which was something that I lacked enormously in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And it was something that I was really afraid of uh, during interviews, uh, 
sometimes I couldn't sleep for like a day or two before my interviews uh, because of I was afraid to lose confidence the, the morning of. But some that's something we definitely worked on. Yeah, um, I could still remember our uh, first five sessions <laughs> with you yes. to where we were intensively <laughs> on your confidence. Definitely. Uh, so that's one. Uh, number two is uh, rejections and also taking rejections personally. That's something that was annoying me, annoying me a bit at first, but I learned how to manage it. Um, losing hope and motivation and basically encountering rude interviewers, if that makes sense, right? Not the ideal interviewer you, you would like to have. So I was encountering all of this, you know, um, in, a, in a repetitive way. And over time, I just realized that uh, all these are And they only help you to become a better uh, interviewee. So for me, the way I saw it was simple. Every case you fail, for whatever reason, confidence, uh, you weren't good enough, you weren't ready, whatever reason, only is only a learning opportunity to become better in the next case. And that's exactly how I saw it, maybe when I reached around 20, 25 cases. And that was the turning point of where I started speaking, I'd say, in my case, in my case skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if that makes sense, yeah. Perfect. Uh, all right. Cool. And uh, can you maybe also highlight, uh, like, what did you like most uh, during the program uh, in our mentorship? What were the peak points uh, for you? Um, and who would you recommend this program? Absolutely. So I'll start with the first question. Uh, what did I like most? And then I'll go to the second one, who I'd, I would recommend it to. Uh, so what did I like most? I'd say four reasons here, uh, four major reasons. First of which is the fact that the program is up to date with the current consulting uh, standards and takes into account all the, um, the aspects of the consulting interview preparation, right? As we mentioned earlier, networking, CV, cover letter, uh, case cracking, and fit parts. So that's one. Um, number two is the fact that when mentees get an offer, it's as important as for the mentors. So I remember when I called you the day I got my offer from RB and I can see that you were as happy as I was. So basically that, that's something that- It's uh, like Christmas really coming it's... and you are receiving <laughs> the gifts and every time my mentees are getting the offers, I'm so happy and fascinated because it, it's like if I got an offer uh, from RB one more time again. <laughs> Exactly. And I'd say maybe there was a personal connection between you and I because I basically got a, an offer for, in the company that you worked with. So uh, so maybe that, that's something else. But uh, but yeah, regarding this point, it's mainly uh, the fact that it's very important for you guys as mentors that your mentees get uh, get the job offer that they want. Right. So that's Absolutely. the second that's the second point. The third point is something I already came across um, earlier is the quality of the coaching and basically the feedback. Uh, that we get from uh, from the um, from the coaches, especially you and Gaurav, and I also had uh, um, done a couple of sessions with uh, with Alan and other coaches that that came towards the end when my contract was about to finish. And I'd say the fourth reason was the community that Consulting Masters offers. So number one here, you find people that have joined the program a bit before you did, so they're more advanced when it comes to casing and uh, the consulting interview prep. So they help you and they're willing to help you get to their level, right? So when we're not uh, doing one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions with coaches, we're doing it with other mentees. So that's the nice part. And the other nice part about this is that when you actually become good yourself at casing, you have the opportunity to give back this learning to the new joiners. And that's something I did. And it's very rewarding. It's something that I experience every day, um, I'd say during uh, RB. When I joined RB, people were helping me. And now people at RB are joining, you know, people joined last week and, you know, they come up to me sometimes with questions. So it, it kind of mimics the real world, the real consulting environment. I'd say those, these are the four main reasons uh, that makes Consulting Masters unique. And then if, I, if you want me to go to the second question, unless you have any other question in between. No, sure. I, I, I simply like uh, the way how you changed your speech. Now you're speaking like a real consultant and I'm admiring. <laughs> so these have three reasons. This has four reasons. Yeah, everything is structured, bullet points, tack, 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 tack. <laughs> the way that I just teached you 
half a year ago, I can see now in the practice. So my my heart is gloomy. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> yeah, for sure, that's true. You do become structured over time when you when you prepare a lot. I I definitely agree with that. But regarding the next question, uh, who would I um, recommend this program to? Um, honestly, that's a good question, and I'd say anyone that uh, that's keen on joining the consulting industry, but feels lost in how they should approach uh, the the preparation journey, uh, they should definitely join this program. Right? Uh, that was my case. As I mentioned earlier, I I really wanted to join the consulting industry. However, I w- I had no idea where to start. I I used to hear the term case cracking every day. I had no idea what ca- what case cr- cracking was. So I'm like, I definitely need someone behind me to push me, uh, someone to provide me with the unique tools uh, and tips to basically uh, get an offer, which is exactly what happened. So people that are lost and were more or less in the situation that I was before, this program is definitely the one for you. But I also want to tell something else to people that are willing to join this program. Uh, don't think you're going to join this program and that the mentors will do everything for you. It's not how it works. I remember my first call with Andre. Andre made it, made it clear that I am in the driver's seat and that whether I get an offer or not solely depends on my performance. And that's exactly true. I'm the one that basically had the motivation that managed you know, everything. But then again, I was provided with unique uh, state-of-the-art tools to basically do very well in all of my interviews. And uh, something else I really want to mention here, and that this comes from the heart, pure honesty, is that speaking in retrospect, and when I see what Consulting Masters did to me, I'm even surprised that such a program exists. Um, for me, the program exists for one reason, and it's basically here to help you achieve your goals, your dream goals of getting a consulting offer. Really, when I first came across the consulting masters on LinkedIn, as I mentioned earlier, I told myself this might be too real to be true. Like, do you really get a consulting offer after joining this program? At first, I was like, I don't know. Let me reach out to other people. Um, But I got to experience it myself and I got to find the answer myself. So, yes, the program is here to help you get to (laughs) reach your dreams. Yeah, thank you. That's uh, thank you for your personal moments uh, shared. Uh, do you maybe also have any specific advice for youngers who are thinking about whether to to join or uh, are about to join? Uh, like, or, yeah, or maybe something that you can share also from your experience as a consultant at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. So people that are um, that still have doubts on joining, uh, for those, I would tell them one thing. Um, reach out to people that completed the program. Uh, I'm one of them. Definitely reach out to me and ask me any question, and I'll provide you with only honest answers. Uh, number two, uh, look at um, where people work right now for people that finished the, the program, right? Uh, most of the people end up in top five consultancies. Uh, so I think statistics speak for themselves. And um, and then you mentioned people that were in doubt and people that were also that are about to join the program. Um, for those, I would tell them that um, you're definitely going to have to be very motivated to uh, before joining Consulting Masters. You're definitely going to have to devote some of your personal time. Uh, you're going to have to say no to weekends. You're going to have to say no to some night out to wake up the next morning early and, and do some casing. Um, it's going to take around four to five months, but it's definitely worth it because uh, the reward feeling you get at the end when you get your offer, honestly, there's there's no such feeling. I mean, really. <laughs> are so, you happy so that, at that, where you are? And yes. Can yes, you remember definitely. yourself uh, for the moment uh, when you got this offer? Like, how was it for you? I, I remember very well. I mean... Uh, um, I remember I got a call and uh, I couldn't believe it. To be honest, I couldn't believe it. I was and but it, there was so much emotion that I didn't, I couldn't celebrate. You know, I couldn't shout and be like, "Yes, I got it." Uh, there was so much emotion. There was so much hard work behind that offer to the point where, when I was called and I was told that I got the offer, in my mind, I was like, "I, I finally made it." You know, like all that hard work uh, basically was worth it. So. Uh, so it's it's a very nice journey. It's a very nice rewarding journey. 
And it's it teaches you so many things that are going to accompany you for the rest of your life, really. So, uh, I mean, regardless of, you know, the consulting journey helps you to get into consulting. It teaches you all types of things uh, that wouldn't make sense if I speak about them. But for the next uh, mentees that hopefully are going to be watching this video, uh, when you're going to be joining uh, the program and you're going to realize this journey yourself, you're going to understand exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, thank you so much for sharing your experience. And guys, also feel free to uh, put a like to this video or leave your comment. Maybe you have any questions about the program or about Jeff's way uh, towards consulting. Uh, feel free to reach out to us um, and uh, talk to our experts. And so we are very motivated to, to, to help you to get into consulting uh, because our mission is basically to uh, to record more videos like this with fascinated and very motivated and excited people who uh, managed to, to follow their dream and um, get into consulting. Jet, thank you very much for uh, this pleasant conversation. Uh, it has been a great pleasure for me and for the entire team and on behalf of the entire team and our community of consulting masters, we're just so proud of you and um, we really wish you um, basically a great way in consulting and you can always count on us and every situation and obstacle that you might be facing in the real life consulting. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, Andre.